floor. Uh, the grave site behind you um, has a boy. He was 12. He died of diphtheria, and he was uh, buried here by his parents. And when they buried him, they also planted that birch tree, which is behind you. And it's one of the biggest birch trees I think I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, and beside there is a park ranger that also died. Um, and there's a, if you go, you can actually go in there later and check it out. But um, you can barely see the engraving on it anymore. But it was pretty cool back then. Um, for you that just walked up the path when we walked down the road, that used to be the site for Moe. So the town of Moet that used to be here, that's where it was. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to start our little story if you guys are cool. No. I need the flashlight because I can't see anything. <coughs> Cheater. Cheater. Come on. You can't read in the dark, sorry. Unless you confiscate that. <laughs> On the day we found Tom's body, we were paddling back from the Joe Lake Portage. Dr. Hallam shouted at us from the Little Wap dock, saying he saw something rise up from the water. At first, we thought it was a dead loon, but as we approached, we knew it was Tom. We fastened his body and pulled it back to Big Wap Island. We left his body in the water to keep it preserved. We were to sleep there that night on the island with the body. I couldn't sleep that night. All I could hear was his body lapping against the shore. It was bone chilling. I, think, I don't think I could close my eyes, for every time I did, I could see his waterlogged body. The coroner was supposed to come that night, and the next, but he never showed up. Dr. Howland ended up doing the inquisition, and at the time, he found, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> air issuing from his lungs, meaning he was dead before he was in the water. With this news, gossip was flying among the cottagers. Names were named, and a lot of rumors were started. Were started. <laughs> rumors were started! <laughs> started the sound of what actually happened that night. Tom was an amazing guide. And the fact that he was found with fishing line wrapped around his feet 14 times just doesn't add up. All the guests from Moet Lodge saw Tom leaving on his fishing trip that day. Then later, Cottager saw Martin Bletcher paddling out with his sister in the direction that Tom Thompson was headed. Only minutes. I don't believe what Tom, hap what happened to Tom was an accident. Um, sorry. <laughs> I have seen the way Martin Bletcher looks at Winifred Trainer, almost like he would do anything to have her. I believe Martin holds the truth of what happened to Tom that night on Canoe Lake. Last night was the big night. I was so excited I didn't even want to let Tom leave to go fishing, but he said he'd catch us a nice dinner, and I had no doubt. We were to have a small party and announce our engagement. We'd been keeping it a secret for so long. When he didn't come home last night, I was very upset. I thought he'd gotten cold feet and didn't want to go through with it, after all. But this morning, when the news came in that they'd found his canoe overturned, I knew something was terribly wrong. Tom was an expert paddler, even in the windiest conditions, and yesterday, when he left, the lake was still as a mirror and not a cloud in the sky. I never would have expected this. Just bring back my Tom safe sleep. July 16th. My worst fears have been confirmed. Tom was found dead this morning, uh, floating in the lake, and it was no accident. I know this. I'd like to get my hands on the man who took him from me. 37, not yet married, and a widow. What now? I knew he'd never have wanted that. Canoe Lake was his whole world, and his spirit will lie here forever. I feel it all around me. I asked some of his friends to come help me dig him up before they get to him so we can keep him where he belongs. We go tonight. Tom appreciated the natural beauty of the park like no one I'd ever met. He would get so excited about a storm or a tree and paint them with an immortality that electrified them. When I'd look at his landscapes, I'd see the places as if I was dreaming them, trying to remember what they look like in my imagination. They would transport me with their magic. I will miss him forever. So if we can please just have a moment of silence to remember Tom Thompson as he was very famous and very...
big part of Canadian history. Cheers, guys. Cheers. 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 Thumbs up. Thumbs up. I never found my paddle. I never found my paddle. <laughs> Where's my paddle? I want to go. Get down. 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 Everyone loves his paintings now, and that's what he's left us. Uh, but everyone should appreciate this area, and uh, I don't know. I just I, I love. Respected, I, everyone. Yeah, so Tommy T.